Okay, welcome back. This is part 10 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last part, part 9, uh, what we did is we continued on with our registration script and we actually got to uh, a grand majority of our coding. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need to actually create the user in the database and insert all of their information. And we also need to uh, upload the avatar image if there is an image selected. <coughs> So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create our MySQL query to actually insert all of our information into our uh, database. So insert into, and then the table is called users, and we want to say values. And now uh, what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to reconnect to my uh, database, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I reconnected to my database and everything. And what we need to do is we need to insert all of this information as it's in the same order that it is in in our database. So the first thing we have is our ID, um, which actually our ID is just a blank value, so we can leave that blank. The next one is our first name, so dollar sign first name, so that's our first name variable. The second one, or the third one rather, is our last name. Last name. Um, the next one is our username, then email and password. So we say dollar sign username. I'm actually down here now. And then we have email. And then password. Or actually, our password is just pass because that is our uh, encrypted password right there. So pass. And then after password, we have avatar, uh, bio, website, YouTube, last login. And last login, we're going to leave as a blank value. So we have avatar, which I'm going to leave blank for now. Um, bio, and then we have a uh, website, which I'm going to leave blank, and then we have YouTube, which I'm going to leave blank, and I'll explain why I'm leaving those blank in a moment. Then we have last login, which I'm going to leave blank. We have our active, which is going to be set to zero which means that the user is not active. Then we have our active code, our activate code, or just the code. Locked, which is uh, by default, is going to be set to 1, which means it's, it is um, not locked. Wait. It's going to be set to 0, which means it's not locked. Sorry. And then we have date. So, just put in date. Now, the reason I set all of these to nothing um, the uh, avatar and all these other things, website, YouTube, and the last login. Our last login and uh, some of the other ones, uh, the reason I set these to zero or to nothing is because the user, th those fields aren't required as, as my form, from my form. They're not required, so if there's nothing in it, um, we, well, actually, we could just put in those values. Uh, the avatar, we're going to leave blank because we have to do something special for that. Um, after bio, we have website and YouTube, so we can actually go ahead and uh, put website in there. Um, so I'm going to say dollar sign website, and then we have dollar sign YouTube, and then after YouTube, we have last login, which we're going to leave blank. And then here we have our code, which we have not created yet. I'm just going to put it in a variable called code. And we're going to create that variable in a moment. Um, but for our avatar, what we need to do is we want to say if, and then just put in a simple if statement, um, and then our curly brackets. So I'm going to scroll up, and it's called name. So we want to say if name, so if dollar sign name. So if we just put if name, that means if that the avatar, and like someone has selected an avatar image, uh, and in which case they have selected the image, that means we want to 
uh, we want to move the uploaded file and we also want to um, well let's just go ahead and move the uploaded file so move underscore uploaded underscore file um, and then just uh, brackets and or our parentheses not brackets sorry now the first thing we want to put is our TMP name so our temporary name um, which we have right here so, uh, sorry get a little bit of hiccup there um, and right here we want to put the location of our avatars of the avatar images that we're going to uh, allow people to upload now for me I'm storing all of my images inside of an avatar folder which I have not yet created so I'm going to say avatars forward slash and then I'm going to say dollar sign username whoops username dot dollar sign e x t um, so if I scroll up we see we have this ext variable which is the extension of the file so it could be dot jpg dot png dot anything um, and actually is there a period involved in that Sick position at the period I don't believe there is so I'm going to have it like that so what it's going to do is it's going to move our uploaded file to an avatar avatars folder and we're going to rename the file as um, avatar as the username so like if I registered with basic nick it's going to rename it to basic nick dot and then whatever the extension is could be png jpg or whatever um, and then we wanted what we want to do is we want to say uh, dollar sign avatar equals and then this whoops and then this variable is going to be our username and then dot and then ext so that's going to be the name of our file so we can go ahead and put in that avatar avatar um, avatar uh, name right there um, but if there isn't an avatar selected what we want to do is we just want to set avatar so dollar sign avatar we want to set it equal to um, something and if we haven't selected an avatar you may want to just set this to nothing um, but you also may want to do is set sort of a, def a default avatar image so like if you had like a separate image created uh, you would put the name of that image right here and then you would just like have that in uh, the avatars folder or whatever um, but for me I'm just going to say um, def avatar uh, dot png and I haven't created this file yet I don't believe uh, and that's going to be like a default avatar image that I'm going to display so um, that pretty much takes care of the avatar image and whatnot and what we want to do now is we're going to generate our random code which I don't believe we've done it yet no we haven't or have we no okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to generate our random code so I'm just going to put in a variable called code I'm going to set it equal to and I'm going to set it equal to a, val a, a random value and using the rand function you have two parameters the start of the numbers and then the end of the numbers so I'm just going to put in, put in a bunch of ones and a bunch of nines um, that's what that's going to do is that's just going to give us a random value um, so that's going to that's going to create our code but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to MD5 encrypt that value so it's going to give us another random value um, but what I'm also going to do is because I have the minimum size for, or the size of my code set to 25 characters that's what it is in my from my database that's uh, it's the width or the uh, the length of the character count so I'm going to say sub str so substring and we want to say our value go ahead and put in our other parenthesis um, and then we want to put in um, right after this parenthesis right there we want to put in um, I'm going to say two and then a comma and then the length which for me is 25 so that's going to generate our random code so that means that that is uh, doing it correctly now I'm gonna stop this video here. Uh, I'm just gonna throw in just a blank echo right here, and I'm gonna stop this video here. In part 11, the next part, we will uh, finish up 
our register register scripts and then we will begin on our uh, email activation so check out the next part of the series